101 years ago, someone discovered a streak of light, which is plasma shooting out of the center of the Milky Way, marking the supermassive black hole. I never believed that this black hole was as big as people said, until we saw that. This is the nucleus of the galaxy M87, and this is the first ever image of a black hole. The history of science will be divided into the time before the image and the time after the image. You have many, probably seen many, many images of black holes before, but they were all simulations or animations. And this is so precious, precious to all of us because this one is finally real. What you're looking at actually looks like a ring of fire. And it's actually created by the force of gravity, by the deformation of space-time, where light actually goes around a black hole almost in a circle. You cannot see a black hole, but you can actually see its shadow. And that's when the light actually disappears behind the event horizon, creating that dark region, that dark shadow we see there. We're looking at a region that we've never looked at before, a region we cannot really imagine being there. It feels like really looking at the gates of hell, at the end of space and time. The event horizon, the point of no return. That is awe-inspiring to me at least, but it's also important for physics. The first property is that at their center, in a single point, we think the laws of physics break down. We call this point a singularity. Another property is that this singularity is covered by a surface, a mathematical surface, which is called the event horizon. Gravity is so strong on this surface that nothing, not even light, can leave it. And this surface separates the interior from the exterior, and nothing from the interior can leave and be transmitted to the exterior. And for a scientist, this is a drama. The first thing you want to do is convince yourself that black holes exist, and in particular, an event horizon exists. And the image we have produced does exactly that. Uh, we actually only see a pieces of the real true image. And then we have to fill in these gaps of these missing pieces to construct the physically possible uh, image that is actually matching uh, our data. It's not really a full ring. It actually is much br uh, brighter at the bottom side. Why is that? Our models told us immediately that this kind of structure can be only formed if the source, if something in the source is rotating. What is rotating? It could be the black hole, but also the matter around it, or both can be rotating. At the moment, the images are not yet sharp enough to actually est estimate or calculate ex the exact speed of this rotation, but these images give us a sense of the direction of the rotation which is a clockwise in the sky. Today, the data from our observations will be made public so that scientists anywhere in the world can verify our results. Thank you much for these presentations. And, uh, I